Good morning, good morning. Let's turn down a little bit. Good morning. Welcome to 6 a.m. prayer. Hallelujah. Guys, I want to share this. Come on in. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Guys, give me a moment. Let me share. <clears throat> you guys share this video as well with your friends and family. Share, share, share. Anyone who needs just kind of encounter with God and just to spend time in his presence this morning, share it with them. Wake them up. Let them know we are on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Tamikia, I did not forget about you. Good morning. Good morning. Just letting you know. You guys give me a second. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Come on in. Let's just begin to worship God. Just begin to worship God. Wherever you are, just begin to worship him. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your presence, God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for waking us up this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship him wherever you are. You're in your bedroom. You're in your car. You're on your way to work. Just take time to begin to worship God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Let's continue to worship. Glory be to God. We thank you. This morning, we're waking up this morning. We're waking up. Not just physically waking up, but we're spiritually waking up. Hallelujah. We're waking up out of emptiness. We're waking up out of depression. Come on. We're not going to stay in these places. We're not going to stay where we are. Today is a day of prophetic release. I felt it in my spirit. I couldn't even sleep last night. Hallelujah, because God continued to wake me up to let me know that there's about to be a prophetic release. There is about to be a refreshing this morning. So get ready. Start shaking yourself off. If you feel sleepy, if you feel tired, begin to shake it off because we're going into the presence of God this morning. We're receiving something great this morning. We're receiving everything the spirit has prepared for us this morning. We're not going to miss an inch of what he has destined for us to have this morning. So I need you to go ahead and start worshiping. Hallelujah. We thank you. Begin to release whatever it is that has been weighing you down. Whatever pressure has been weighing on you, begin to release it now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. We worship you. We worship you. It's time to wake up this morning. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up this morning. It's time to shake off depression. It's time to shake off fear. It's time to shake off whatever has been weighing you down. It's time to shake off those problems. Begin to shake them off this morning. We shake it off right now. We will not let it hold on to us. We will not be restrained or a slave to fear. We will not be slaves to depression or anxiety. We will not be slaves to worry. We will not be slaves right now. Hallelujah. But we shake it off. We release it now unto the spirit of God. Glory be to God. Begin to release this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. 
We thank you, God, that we're able to shake it off. We're able to wake up now and stand in your presence. We're able to wake up now and stand in your presence. God, you are so worthy. Hallelujah, you are so worthy. Wherever you are, begin to declare the worthiness and the glory and the power of our Father. Dad, we just thank you. We thank you for being such a good, good Father. We thank you that we don't have to stand in your presence full of mess. We thank you that we don't have to stand in your presence presence worried and burdened down. We thank you that we don't have to stand in your presence overwhelmed. We thank you that we don't have to stand in your presence full of problems. We thank you God that in your presence we find the answer. That in your presence we find wholeness. That in your presence we find security. That within your presence we find safety and healing. God we thank you for your presence. Oh glory be to God. We thank you for your presence. That your presence doesn't look like our problems. That your presence leads us into your promises. God, we thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Someone just say, thank you, God, for your presence. Thank you, God, for your presence. That I can release my worries on into your presence. That I can release my mind over into your presence. God, I thank you for your presence. Somebody thank Dad for his presence. Thank you, God, that we don't have to wake up in insecurity in your presence. That we don't have to wake up and feel inferior in your presence, but there is value in your presence. There is worthiness in your presence. I find validation in the presence of God that I don't have to worry about rejection in your presence, but here I am always accepted. I am always validated. I find myself and my identity in the presence of God. Someone say thank you God for your presence. This is where I find my identity. This is where I find my purpose. I will no longer walk around sleeping and wondering where, who, and who I am. But in the presence of God is where I know I'm validated. In the presence of God is where I know I'm secure. I no longer have to walk around feeling rejected, feeling overlooked, feeling abandoned. Glory be to God. I no longer have to walk around feeling as if I'm not enough. I no longer have to walk around wondering about my identity and purpose. For in his presence, I am ready Rest assured of who I am. Glory be to God for the presence of God. Someone begin to thank God for his presence. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for your presence. I thank you that you have given me my identity in your presence. I thank you that you have given me safety in your presence. I thank you that there is overflow for my emptiness in your presence. I thank you that there is fulfillment for the voice within me in your presence. I thank you that I am whole where I felt broken in your presence. Glory Glory be to God. It's time to wake up in the presence of God and receive every good and perfect gift you think you've been missing. Everything you feel you've been lacking, God desires to fulfill right now in his presence. Where are you, oh sleeping giants? Where are you, those who felt that you weren't good enough? Where are you, those who felt undervalued and overlooked? Where are you, those who felt overwhelmed and broken? Where are you, those who felt insecure and inadequate? Where are you? Because in the presence of this morning, God says restoration is coming. I'm restoring, says God. It's time to wake up. It's time to get out of that pit. It's time to get out of that pain. It's time to get out of that hurt. But behold, I'm about to do a new thing in your life. Things as you have seen it and known it are about to shift and change immediately, says God. But in in my presence, you are about to be renewed. In my presence, you're about to be restored. In my presence, you're about to be refreshed. In my presence, I'm getting ready to revive you because you've been so empty. You've been so dormant and you've been so comfortable. God says, get ready because you're about to be awakened because there is something great in you and this world needs your greatness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody begin to say hallelujah. 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 We feel the presence of God this 
morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Arabando Kosharabaya. Handi Arabando Kosharabansia. Arabando Kosharabansia. Glorabando Kosha. God, you are so good. Wake us up, dear Father. Wake us up, dear Lord. We will not stand in fear. We will not stand in fear. We will not stand in fear. We will not take what this world is throwing at us. We will not take what the enemy tries to suggest to us. We will not take the attacks of the enemy. But God, I declare that we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We are victorious. We are winners. And we will not settle. We will not allow what has happened to us to determine our future. But dear God, we walk with you. Dear God, we walk with you. Dear God, we talk by your spirit. Dear God, we are led by your ways. Dear God, your promises are to shape our lives. We thank you, God, that we're not so overwhelmed with our problems, that we miss out on what you're doing supernaturally by your promises. God, we thank you that we're able to yield our lives to you, that we're able to yield our minds to you, that we're able to yield our souls to you, that we're able to yield our problems to you, that we're able to yield our children to you, that we're able to yield our money to you, that we're able to yield our worries to you, God. We yield it now, God. We take our hands off so that you can do whatever you need to do. God, we take our hands off so that your spirit can take full control over our lives. For God, our lives belong to you. Lead us, oh Father. Take us, Lord God, where you have destined us. Take us to the perfect plans that you have prepared for us. God, we thank you. We relinquish control now. We relinquish control at this moment. We take our hands off, God, where we try to fix our lives and where we try to do everything on our own. We release it unto your spirit now and ask God that you move in us, that you move before us, God, that you lead us into the destiny and the destination that you have prepared for us. For our life belongs to you, dear God. So God, we thank you that we don't have to worry or fear any longer, but we submit under you. We submit under you, oh God. Therefore, you have led us into freedom. You have led us out of bondage. God, I thank you that we are free from people. I thank you that we are free from money. I thank you that we are free, God. Therefore, God, we seek you for everything that concerns us because in you there is overflow of everything connected to us. Thank you, God, that in you there is overflow for everything we feel we've been missing. You've already provided for us. So, God, I thank you that by faith that we're able to believe in you. We're able to rely on you. We're able to keep our eyes completely zoomed in and tune into your spirit. Glory be to God. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody thankful this morning? Hallelujah. I feel so stirred up. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. But I feel the spirit of God. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being tired. Hallelujah. I'm tired of feeling as if I don't have enough. I'm tired of always feeling as if I have to go to God about something, knowing that he has supplied all of my needs. And I just realized, glory be to God, that I must not be fully connected or tap in by faith to everything that he's already supplied for me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Anybody excited for what God is about to do? Hallelujah. I'm excited. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We love you, Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God has given us access to all things by faith. We're not lacking in no thing. We're not lacking in no thing. Whether that be material or emotionally. We're not lacking in no thing. I'm not lacking in no thing. I dare that to be your confession this morning that I'm not lacking in no thing. Let that be your confession this morning. Come on. We're releasing some things from heaven this morning. It's a prophetic release. I declare you to speak it. I lack in no area of my life. I don't lack money. I don't lack resources. I don't lack relationships. I don't lack wholeness. Come on. I don't lack healing. I lack no thing in 
my life. God has provided all things for me. In the world full of chaos, I am still increasing. Come on, we got to open our mouths and begin to speak the promises of God. We got to open our mouths and begin to speak what we want to see. We got to open our mouths and begin to release heaven here on earth. We are the sons and daughters of the Most High Father. And therefore, we have the authority to speak. And when we speak, we will see a release take place on this earth. I dare you by faith to stop sleeping this morning and to wake up and open your mouth and declare a shift in your situation. Begin to open your mouth and declare change is coming to your house. Begin to open your mouth and declare healing and restoration in your body. I dare you to begin to open your mouth and align yourself with the word of God. You don't have to take all of this mess. You don't have to take what the enemy is throwing at you. You don't have to take what somebody has said about you. You don't have to take the rejection and manipulation. You don't have to take the emptiness. You don't have to take the brokenness. Stop picking it up. Leave it where it is and pick up the word of God and declare what your life is supposed to look like. Hallelujah. We release your word, God. We release your word this morning. We release that we are whole. We release that we are new. We release, oh God, that you are creating new beings. We release, God, that you are restoring. We release it now in the name of Jesus, that your salvation has given us wholeness, that your salvation has preserved us, that your salvation, Lord God, is protecting us. God, I thank you that there is no fear in us to make us feel as if we can't believe you, to make us fear failed expectations, to make us fear failure. I thank you, God, that we clip on to you. We hold to you. We cling to your word and trust that you will lead us and guide us regardless of what the situation looks like. Your word will still prevail. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Woo. Hallelujah. I got to calm down. Really quickly, what I hear in the spirit of God, and I wrote it down before I started prayer this morning, and we'll start praying again because I got stirred up really, really quickly. Hallelujah. I just feel his presence. I don't know where you are. If you're at home in the kitchen or wherever you are, if you feel his spirit, say he's here. Begin to say he's here. Hallelujah. I know this is Facebook, but we're all one. There is no distance in the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Where God is right now, he's with you. He's with me. He's with you. He's with everyone who's touching this Facebook live. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what I heard God say in the spirit, and I kept hearing it all night. All night and I could not sleep. He continued to say it all night long. He said, it's time to wake up the giants. It's time to wake up the giants. And he continued to say it over and over and over again. He said, it's time to wake up the giants. And he gave me this particular scripture in Matthew 13. Write it down. Somebody put it in the group, but write it down so that you can refer back to it. He says, in Matthew 13, 31, it says, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field. Of all the seeds, it is the smallest. But when it has grown, it is the largest of the garden herbs and becomes a tree. God said this morning, it's time to wake up the giants. He said in, a, in, in according to this scripture, he said the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed. When it is sold in the field, it is the smallest. God says many of you have felt like the small seeds. You have smelt like you have felt like the small one. You have always felt like the underdog. You have always felt forgotten. You have always felt overlooked. You have always felt like you weren't good enough. 
You have always felt insecure. Is this anybody? You have always felt inadequate. You have been the one that has always felt rejected. You have been the one wondering, God, when are you going to align my life with your word? God, I am in expectation for my blessings and breakthrough. Is anybody feel like the small seed? Anybody feel like the small seed? Anybody feel like the overlooked seed? Anybody feel like the undervalued seed? Come on. Is this anybody's reality? Anybody feel like they're not good enough? Anybody to feel like that they can have the whole world but yet on the inside they still feel like something's missing? Where are the small seeds? The one who feels like they are not good enough. The one who still constantly feels like they have not obtained everything. The one who still feels a little broken inside. You've gotten a little bit of more of what you think you've been praying for but there's still brokenness on the inside of you. Come on, who is this I'm talking to? That you physically receive some type of success but yet internally there's still some broken there's still some work that you feel God has to do because regardless of the success that you've obtained you still feel as if there's not enough you still feel as if there's something that needs to be done are the small seeds on here this morning the ones who are wondering God when are you going to bless me when are you going to adhere to my prayer request God when are you going to speak to me because I'm tired of looking at everybody else's life and then wondering my mind is so jacked up come on where are the small seeds the ones who are wondering God, when are you going to manifest the miracle for me? God, I am waiting. And God said the small seed, according to Matthew, the smallest, that when it is grown, it becomes the largest. Come on, God says, I am waking up the giants. You may feel small, but as I have planted you, you are about to flourish, God says. You are about to be bigger than your Arabando Kosha. You are about to be bigger than the people you compare yourself to. This is what God is saying this morning. It is time to wake up out of your slumber. It is time to wake up out of your insecurity. It is time to wake up out of your inadequacy. Because just because you feel like you're the small seed, I have planted you here on this earth. And because I planted you, God says, you are about to flourish into something bigger than what you see. You may count yourself out, but I haven't said God. You may overlook yourself, but I have not overlooked you. You may thought I have forgotten about you, but I still know your name, God says. Ara and you're about to flourish and you're about to be bigger than anything you ever expected. God says, I'm about to position you. I'm about to prosper you. I'm bringing you wholeness. I'm about to overflow you. That it's about to turn heads because the glory of God is about to rain on you because you're going to be so big, God said in the kingdom, that you cannot, even if your mind tries to tell you you're small. Small cannot fit into your realm, God said. Come on, does somebody hear what the Holy Spirit is saying? Small cannot fit into your realm. Small thinking, small resources, small harvest, small relationships. Nothing small can fit into your realm. If you exist in it, it and it's small, it cannot be attached to you, God says. Get ready for big, because God says it's about to be big. It's about to be bigger than you imagine. Glory be to God. God. Hallelujah. Where y'all at this morning? God says it's about to be bigger. It's about to be larger. It's going to be greater than you imagine. It's about to be greater than you ever dreamed. God says I'm about to completely blow your mind. Because it's the small seed that when it is planted, it grows into the biggest tree. Wake up sleeping giant. Do you know who you are? God says. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are? You are You are a giant in the spirit. You may not see it physically, but in the spirit of God, you are big. You may see your bank account and it may look small, but God is declaring this morning that it's bigger than it looks. You may think your resources, your networks are smaller than they look, but God says they are big. Bigger. They are bigger. It's about to be big. Whatever you're waiting on God to do, whatever you're expecting God to do, whatever is attached to you and you need God to show up for you, God says get ready for the overflow because it's about to be bigger than you imagine. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 
God says sometimes it may feel like it's taking too long. Sometimes it may feel as if I'm not answering your request. But God says that's because I have to prepare you. Because you wouldn't be ready to receive the harvest of the magnitude that I have in store for you. God says sometimes I have to prepare you. Because in your mind you are expecting me to meet a specific need. But I want to outdo that need says God. You have been waiting on me to meet a specific need. And you have been basing our relationship relationship on that need. But God says, just because you don't see me accomplish or answer that need, it does not mean I'm not there. It does not mean that I'm overlooking you. It does not mean that I have turned my back on you. It just means I desire to do bigger. Oh, thank you, dad. That word was for me. I don't know about you, but God says, it's not that I'm not wanting to do what you are asking of me. I love you and I will never turn my back on you. Glory be to God. Oh, I will never turn my back on you. God says, I just want to do bigger, but you're so focused on me. You're so focused on me answering that one need that you have allowed our relationship to break because I didn't come through on that one thing. But I didn't come through because I want to show you that there is much more. I want to show you that there is bigger. I want to show you that you are limiting yourself to something that will not fulfill you. You are limiting yourself to something that is temporal. But I want to give you a sustaining harvest. I want to give you an everlasting lasting increase. God says, I don't want you continuously feeling as if you don't have enough. I don't want you in continuous lack. I want you to be in abundance. I want you to be in more than enough. And so if you don't see me in that need, it's not that I've forgotten you. It's just that I desire to do something greater. Is this anybody? Is this anybody on here? You've been wondering, God, when are you going to meet? When are you going to meet this one need? When are you going to answer this prayer request? God, I need you to come through because I'm starting to feel isolated. I'm starting to feel overlooked. I'm starting to get a little lonely and I need you to come through, God. But God says, if you will just give me time, I just want to completely blow your mind and give you something that will sustain you. Hallelujah. I want to give you more. I want to overwhelm you. I want to overflow you. I want to overflow your cup. I want your life to be spilling over with goodness. I don't ever want you in lack again. Just give me time so that I can fill your cup until it overflows. The Holy Spirit, we begin to pray. For every person on here who has been dwelling on one harvest, who have been dwelling on one seed, who has been dwelling on the small thing. We begin to pray right now, God, for every person who has been in anxiety and depression because they need you to come through on a thing. We thank you, God, that they will begin to release it to you, God, that they'll begin to release their worries and anxieties over to you, that they will begin to empty their cups so that you can fill it with the overflow, so that you can fulfill it. Lord God with a sustaining harvest so that you can fulfill it with everything Lord God that you have prepared. We thank you God that Lord where we have not had the capacity to receive the harvest that you have prepared for us. We surrender it all now God so that now you can prepare the great big harvest for us oh God. We release Lord God we release our desires we release the control. We release the pain. We release the hurt we release the feelers Lord God God, that have been taking up room in our hearts, that have making us feel broken, that have made us feel as if we're not enough. We release it over to you, God, and thank you, God, that you will begin to fill our cups, that you will begin to give us what you have prepared. Oh, God, rain down heaven on us, God. Rain down your blessings upon us, dear God. We release, oh God. We release, oh God. We release every heavy thing that we carry and give it over to you so that you can give us, Lord, 
Lord God, the blessings that you have prepared and and laid out for us, dear God. We thank you, oh holy God, that we don't have to take, Lord God, whatever's been thrown at us. We thank you, dear God, that we don't have to take whatever life has done to us. We thank you, dear God, that we don't have to take the residue of those broken relationships. We thank you, oh God, that we don't have to take on the residue of broken contrast and rejection and any issues that have come against us that made us feel as if we weren't valuable enough. But God, I thank you that as we recognize our value in the spirit, we are open to receive the great harvest that you have prepared, the sustaining harvest, the everlasting increase, the over and abundance and above what we ask or think. God, I thank you that we are open, God, and we're able to receive it now in Jesus' name. Glory be to God that you are God who favors us, that you are not a God who leads us into failure, but you are a God who favors us. Thank you, God, that our eyes are upon you. Thank you, God, that our eyes are upon you. Thank you, God, that our attention is set in heaven. Thank you, God, that we recognize that we are spirit and therefore our eyes are upon heaven. God, I thank you that we don't move the way this earth moves, but we move the way heaven moves. I thank you, God, that you give us a revelation of who we are and how we are to live here on earth and how we have the authority to change whatever tries to reject or contradict what you have declared over our lives. God, I thank you that we're able to call out your word and remember it to what you promised us so that we don't have to take whatever opposition or contradiction tries to come against whatever you're doing now. I thank you, God, that even when we get off of this call, whatever the enemy tries to suggest to us and whatever we see that looks like a contradiction to this harvest that you're promising, I thank you that we will begin to tear it down, that we will begin to shut it down, that we won't adhere to it, but we will cling on to the word that you have prepared for us today. Release, oh God, God, your promises. Release, oh God, your promises. Release, oh God, your word over our lives. Release the visions, God. Release the dreams, oh God. Release the prophecies, oh God. We release it now, God, as the righteousness of God. We declare release right now. Revive us, oh God. Restore us, dear Father. We thank you for the harvest, God. We thank you for what you're doing in our lives, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that we're able to move forward and victory as the giants that you have called us to be. We will not settle in comfort. We will not settle in our pain. We will not settle in those overwhelming thoughts that try to make us believe in opposition to your word. We thank you, God, that we're able, Lord God, to carry out this word and trust and believe that regardless of what we see, this is who we are. We are giants in the kingdom of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Revive us, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Who's on here this morning? Hallelujah. I just feel I'm just being obedient to the Holy Spirit this morning. I hear God just saying, just minister to my people for a moment. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This message is for Shante Jordan. Shante Jordan, your name is the last name I see. Hallelujah. I hear God saying, minister for a moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Shante Jordan, the Spirit of God said, Hadabando Kosha. It's funny because you just wrote something about release, but I heard the Holy Spirit say, You get ready for a release. God says, I'm getting ready to release. I hear financial breakthrough. That's what I hear specifically is God says, I'm getting ready to release finances upon you. God says for so long, you felt in bondage. You felt limited. You felt like you were always in a place of not enough. But God says, I desire to release financial abundance upon you because you are a conduit. You are somebody who is faithful. God says, because of your faithfulness, I can trust you to be a good steward over what I'm getting ready 
to release to you because by the spirit, I'm going to give you instructions on what to do. God says, get ready. I just hear God say, get ready because financial breakthrough is coming to your house, Shante Jordan. You have yet to see or understand what I'm getting ready to bring into the fold. You have yet to even imagine or really pray for what I'm getting ready to do in your life. God says, because you have limited yourself by what you have experienced, your experiences in a way have shaped what you believe God for. But God says, let go of your experiences. Let go of what didn't work because I'm getting ready to do something brand spanking new. I'm getting ready to open your eyes to something greater. I'm getting ready to open your eyes to something more miraculous. I'm getting ready to show you in demonstrations of spirit what I'm getting ready to do will not make sense to the natural eye. But I'm doing it because of your faithfulness. I'm doing it because of my faithfulness to you. I owe you this one because there was some seeds that you planted years ago. Hallelujah. And you thought I forgot about them. You've always been there for many people. You've always been there for others. And you have felt like, God, when is somebody going to restore and help me? But God says, it's my responsibility to help you because they can't pay you what I'm getting ready to give to you, God says. So stop waiting for people to pay you back a harvest they cannot afford. God says, the harvest that is attached to me is greater than anything that you've given or waiting for people to give you back. God says, get ready because financial breakthrough is coming to your house. That's for Shante Jordan. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So so Shante, I began to speak over you that God will begin to increase your life, that you will begin to focus on God and not focus on anything that has happened, that you from this day forward will begin looking straight. You will begin to focus your attention on God, that you won't continue looking in the review. You won't continue looking behind you, but you will focus directly on God. Forget about anybody who doesn't connect with you in this season. Anyone who will not connect with you as you move forward. They're going to think you're acting snooty. They're going to think you're being stuck up, but you are not. You are focused. So continue to put your eyes on God and anyone that is belong or is, is supposed to be connected to you will connect with you. When you are attacked Attached to God, God says you don't have to worry about the people around you because they will see you. They will see God. They will see what you're doing. So just continue moving forward and trust the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Tiffany, Tiffany Davis. Um, I'm so happy that you're on here because I actually... Crazy thing is, right before I started this prayer call, I was getting ready to inbox you because your spirit was so heavy on my heart. And I, I, I was about to inbox you. And so I didn't get a chance to do so yet because I was running behind. And so I'm so happy that you're on this call. But the word that I hear for God is saying, I'm taking you deeper, deeper daughter, deeper daughter. Those are the words I hear. I'm taking you deeper daughter into a deeper realm of my presence. I'm taking you deeper. You're getting ready to see the supernatural in a way that you have not seen it before. I'm getting ready to completely blow your minds. I'm taking, it's almost like I see God stripping you of the physical eye and putting on glasses of the spirit. God says, I need you to see directly in the spirit. You are a pillar in the spirit of God, God says. You are one who is getting ready to prophesy. You are one who is getting ready to be placed on platforms because there is something God says there's something that I gifted you with and, 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 and it's almost like I hear God saying it's the gift of influence. You have the gift of leadership. You have the gift of properly and kindly leading people and God says that is what I need to stir up in the kingdom of God. There is so much negativity going on now and there's so much negativity and leadership. I need you. I need your genuine spirit. That's the word. I need your genuine spirit, God says, and I'm getting ready to take you deeper. You're getting ready to see demonstrations of the spirit. You're getting ready to see me in a new light, God says. It might already have already started happening, but get ready because there is about to be more. I'm getting ready to take God says you're about to see miracle signs and wonders. You're getting ready to see see so deep into the spirit that you'll be able to do things that you didn't even know you had the capability of doing. I see you prophesying. I see words of knowledge. I see you talking to strangers and you're beginning to pour out to them what the word of God says. And I see them reaping because of the encounter of God that you brought
brought to them. I see growth around you. Everything attached to you is about to flourish as you step out and the assignment that God is calling you to. I see God, this is a God is saying this is an open door to everything that is attached to you. God says, don't despise where you are now. Don't despise small beginnings because I'm getting ready to flourish you. You're about to be bigger in the spirit than you ever imagined in your life. Because for so long or, or even at some point of time, you've kind of disqualified yourself from speaking out spiritually or being the mouthpiece of God. But God says, no, I have equipped you. I've given you every tool necessary and the gift is within you to open your mouth and people will be led into my presence, God says. So prepare, daughter, prepare, because this is your season to speak. This is your season to prophesy. This is your season to lead my children into the kingdom. God says, I'm raising up sons and daughters who will be led by the spirit of God to answer the groaning pains of this earth. So get ready, Tiffany. Get ready. God says, get ready. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God says, get ready. I'm getting ready. Christina, Christina, my friend, my closest friend. I love you so much, Christina Smith. What I hear the spirit of God saying to you, hallelujah, that you are, you are bigger than what you expect or what you see in yourself. What I heard God say, I know we're talking about giants on this call, but God says you are a giant. Glory. God says for when you pray, mountains move. And I'm talking about move, not just in your life, but in lives connected to you. God says, not only did I call you to be an intercessor, but God says there is discipleship in you. There is mentorship in you. God says there is even leadership in you. God says, I called you into a greater realm, but something is kind of, it's almost like you, what I see is, it's almost like a little kid. And, and a little kid is, is, is what I see actually in this vision is there is a pool of water in front of you. And I hear God saying, step out on the water, daughter. And I see you like a little kid and you keep tapping your foot back and forth. And you're like, I'm not so sure the water's cold. I'm not so sure if I, I can do this. And when you tap your foot on the water, you realize that your water is going, your foot, excuse me, is going through the water. That's what's happening. You tap your foot on the water and you feel like your foot is going through the water. So you're looking at God wondering, how am I going to walk on the water if my foot keep going through the water? I need to feel a sample of security first before I step out. And God, God says, no, the security comes when you fully launch out. That's what I hear God saying. You are big. You are great in the spirit. God says that once you fully launch out, then you will realize that the security is already there. You've been waiting for God to show you a sample or give you a glimpse of the security and show you that, hey, this thing is going to work. But God says you won't fully know until you fully step out. God says you got to go all in. I know this isn't what you want to do, says dad. He says, but you got to go all in. If you want to see the security and you want to see the overflow, if you want to see everything that I promise you, then you got to go all in first. God says, I need your faith to move this way so that your faith will be in alignment with the vision that I've shown you so that your faith will be in alignment with how big I have called you. Understand that there is something great in you and there is something greater that I have when you launch out. God says, your eye have not seen what I'm giving Getting ready to do with you until you put both feet on the water because they won't go through. God says, until you put both feet on the water, you won't know to the capacity for which I'm prepared to use you, says God. Christina, hallelujah. Get ready to launch out. Get ready to launch out. That's what I hear the Holy Spirit saying. Get ready to launch out. Get ready to launch out. God says, both feet in. <laughs> hallelujah. God said, both feet in. Hallelujah. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare. I declare right now that Christina will begin to launch out, that she will begin to launch out. I thank you, Lord God, that where she feels a little unsafe or where she feels a few, a little questioning or doubt, God, I thank you that you will give her supernatural confidence, that you will give her the push or the nudge that she needs to rely on you and to put both, both feet forward, to fully emerge in your presence and in the things for which you are calling her. I thank you, God, that there is no fear or no doubt that tries to overtake her, but 
but she trusts in your word. She trusts in your promises and will completely rely on you as she take the bold, bold steps forward in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, Susan, Susan Roll. I think that is Susan Roll. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Susan Roll, what I hear the Spirit of God saying for you is the word that came to mind instantly is restoration. God says restoration, restoration. There is something that God is asking me to do. Give me one second. He's asking me to look up this word. I've never done this before. Hallelujah. But I'm going to look it up as God is telling me to. Restoration. Hallelujah. There must be something in here God wants you to know in this definition. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There it is. God said restoration. He says a re representation of reestablishing. That's what the Holy Spirit said, Suzanne. He said reestablishing. It is a representation of reconstruction or reestablishing. God says, I'm getting ready to reestablish and reconstruct. God says, I'm getting ready to reestablish and reconstruct you. I'm getting ready to completely form you into exactly what you have seen. God says, you've been seeing visions uh, of, 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 of the life that in a way that is in in alignment with my promises. You have seen this life. It's, it's to you, it's, it's called the good life. <laughs> Hallelujah, or the blessed life. God says, I'm getting ready to reconstruct and reestablish you into that life. God says, I'm getting ready to show you the good and perfect gifts that you have only dreamed about, that you have only envisioned. I see you writing out visions, or maybe it's a vision board, or something you have laid out, and or, or maybe it's something you have spoken, but you have expectations for God. And you and, and these expectations are are big expectations. You want your life completely to reflect his promises. You you want the blessed life. And God says, I'm getting ready to reconstruct you so that I can position you in that life because I need you to see the life and enjoy the life when I position you in it. A reconstructing has to take place so that you won't look at this life and begin to compare it to your old life. I need you to enjoy the newness of life, says God. So I have to reconstruct reconstruct your mind, reconstruct you so that you will see big and expect big. God says you can no longer compare where you are to where you've been. God says that was old. Let it go because a new thing is getting ready to happen for you. And I have to make sure your mind is in alignment with the new thing so that you can fully embrace it and enjoy it. And it's not something that you're just standing in and feel as if it is it, it, and, and feel as if it's not the blessing because that's what God I just hear God saying that's what happens sometimes is you'll find yourself in a new thing and completely and, and the blessing is completely just past you because something about it, it, it reminds you something not not the whole blessing but something about it kind of reminds you of the past or something that has happened I don't know if this is geared towards relationships or, or your finances or business, whatever it is. Sometimes if, if, if a little thing tends to look like something you experience, you completely shut it down, even though it's what God has given you. God says, I need to reconstruct your mind. I need to reconstruct your soul. So you'll completely let go of every old thing. So you will stop comparing the old to the new because it, even if it may look like something you experienced or something that led to failure, that doesn't mean it will fail, God says. So get ready for reconstruction because I'm getting ready to reestablish you so that you can fully enjoy the blessed life, God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Yeah, she she, I, I heard it. Relationship says you're going through a divorce. Yeah, I heard relationship. God says, I'm reestablishing you. I'm reestablishing you, daughter. That's what I heard the spirit of God saying. Wherever you're going, you cannot allow yourself to, to, to compare it to what you've been through. You cannot do that. God says, but don't worry because I'm going to take care of your mindset because I'm reconstructing it. This is my control. I'm reconstructing it, God says. And so I'm getting ready to do a new thing in you. I'm getting ready to completely change your mindset. I'm getting ready to shift your mindset so that you won't, so you won't be overwhelmed by what you experience. 
but you'll be overwhelmed about where I'm taking you. God says, I'm reconstructing, I'm reestablishing, and I'm leading you into something brand new. Hallelujah. So, Susan, we pray right now as a community. Everyone on this prayer call, wherever you are, stretch your hands to her. We pray for you. We pray healing over you during this process. We thank you that God will reconstruct and reestablish you. We thank you that your mind will be renewed in this process, that God will bless you in the midst of what may seem hurtful or chaotic. We thank you, God, that you will, we thank you, God, that she will be able to see increase, that she will be able to see that you have her covered, that your arms are wrapped around her, carrying her and leading her into a place of prosperity and fulfillment and wholeness. We cast down the enemy now in the name of Jesus and declare that his attacks will not prevail against her, but your word reigns over her. In Jesus' name, we declare victory in her life as she, Lord God, follows you, your spirit, and your ways, even in fear, even even in questioning, even in hurt and pain. We thank you, God, that your spirit will overwhelm her and lead her into the destiny that you have prepared for her. In Jesus' name, do it for her now. Hallelujah. Do it for her now. Do it for her now. Glory be to God. Marcy, Marcy, Marcy Dean. Hi, sis. I love you so much. I hear the spirit of God saying for you, glory be to God. Marcy, you, hallelujah, you have been questioning yourself for a very, very long time. God says, but behold, it's time to be confident. It's time to be confident, fully confident in who you are. You need to recognize who you are, girl. You are my daughter and I've equipped you with so much wisdom. I've given you so much wisdom. I've given you so, I'm gonna say this again and again. I've given you so much wisdom. This wisdom is from heaven. This wisdom isn't anything that you can study out or something that you can obtain through experience or something someone can give you. This wisdom is directly from God. So you're not missing out on anything. You're not lacking in any area. Don't allow your situations to make you feel as if you're not enough. Don't allow things around you to dictate who God has called you to be. For I declare that you will stop speaking about your problems and you will start speaking to them, telling them who God is and who God has called you to be. God says, I've given you exit strategies. I've given you business strategies. I've given you all kinds of strategies. Therefore, you can pave a way to, to the destiny that you desire. God says, get ready because things that have been within you and that have been hidden are about to be unveiled. I'm getting ready to strip the veil of insecurity. I'm getting ready to strip the veil of inadequacy. I'm getting ready to strip the veil because your experiences have put a veil up over your eyes and made you think of yourself lower than what you are. But God says, get ready because I'm stripping the veil so that you can see who you are in the kingdom, so that you can also see who you are in this world. You are bigger and you have more influence and you have more smart, a oh, hallelujah, and value than you give yourself credit. I, God says, strip the veil. The veil is coming off. It is coming completely off. And Adabando Kosha, and the enemy has tried to keep you veiled because if he can keep you veiled, he can keep your mouth closed. And therefore, if he can keep your mouth closed, then he can keep the power that you have have within you. But the uh, time is up, God says. It's time for the veil to come off and it's time for your mouth to open so that you can go out in this earth and be the powerful woman that he has called you to be. So Marcy, right now we pray over you and declare that uh, that you will begin to recognize the power that God has on the inside of you so that you will no longer be hidden behind a veil. But as God has stripped the veil this morning, I thank you that it will never be replaced. That no enemy, no situation, no man, no person can ever put that veil back up, but you will recognize and walk in your value. And as you walk in your value, you will attract value. You will attract what is necessary for you. I thank you that you will not settle in anything less than where God has positioned you, but you will stay seated in the place and on the throne of heavenly places here on earth that he has positioned you and you will move forward in that place and you will not settle for anything because you feel as if God will leave you out. No, you will move forward in the calling, in the assignment, and in the destiny that God has called you to in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, walk in your value. Walk in your value. Glory. Walk in your value this morning. Walk it out. Walk it out. Somebody, somebody declare that over her. Walk it out. Walk it out. Don't sit down in comfort, but walk it out. Walk out your value. Glory be to God. Walk out your value. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Who else we have on here? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Walk out your value. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Corey, I saw Corey Jenkins, I believe it is. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me go down. Yep, Corey Jenkins, that's what it is. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What I hear God saying is a great harvest is getting ready to head in your direction, Corey. God says, you thought I forgot about some seeds you sown. And those seeds, what I'm hearing specifically, hallelujah, I just felt pressure on me when I said that. And what I hear specifically is there's some things or seeds that you have sown that led into manipulation or caused people to use you because you're so kind hearted. God says you're so giving. Hallelujah. You are so giving. And God said, I thank you for that. I thank you for being faithful. I thank you for being the one that loves. I thank you for being the bigger person. I thank you. But God says, I have not forgotten about you in that process. God says, I know there were things that you gave and they they used you. They manipulated you. They took from you. But God says, there is a great harvest that is coming back to you. Even those seeds that you sowed and, and you felt because they were manipulation, you had to get over it. You was just like, I'm hurt, but it is what it is. But God says, no, it wasn't... It, it wasn't, I didn't overlook it, God says. It's not the end of the story in the kingdom. God says, every seed that you sold is incorruptible seed. Even if the person tried to corrupt it, it will not be corrupted. Therefore, it has been planted and there is a great reward that is coming into your life. God said, I have not forgotten about the seeds that you've forgotten about. The seeds that hurt. The seeds that you that you were sweating and crying over. God says, the seeds that you felt stripped you. God says, I have not forgotten about those seeds, daughter. I, I see you. I, I know that there are more. I, I know that they hurt you. I know. And I have attached a great harvest to those seeds. God said, I'm getting ready to restore you a hundredfold. In fact, there is triple that is coming attached to the ones that were sown and, and that you got manipulated and used. Uh, there is more that is coming in hallelujah to those seeds that you felt I forgot about. There is triple harvest that is coming to those because they hurt you so much. I need you to realize that I've been there all along taking account to those seeds, taking account to everything that you gave and I'm getting ready to replenish. I'm getting ready to restore and it's going to be bigger than what you sow. So you don't have to worry about any man paying you back. You don't have to worry about any person giving you what you gave them because I'm giving you something greater, something bigger. And you won't have to worry about a thing, says God. This is for Corey. Hallelujah. This is for Corey. God says, hallelujah. I'm getting ready to give you more. I'm getting ready to give you more. Where are you, Corey? God says, get ready for the overflow. God says, you are so deserving of this. Don't count yourself out and, and, and think that you are not worthy of this. God says the harvest is not only going to be sustaining, but it's going to be overflowing. It's going to be more than what you expect. God says it's going to come like a wind. It's going to come like a wind. That means it's going to come so fast that you're not even going to realize that it's there until you realize that you ain't worried about nothing in a minute. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak peace over Corey. We speak peace over her right now in the name of Jesus. I believe it's a her. I'm not sure, but what that's what I hear in the spirit, so I believe it's her. I speak peace over her right now in the name of Jesus. Like a tsunami begin to wave, Lord God, your harvest over her. Begin to wave peace over her to settle the hearts down so that her heart would be at peace, ready to receive what you have in store. So Father, I just thank you for fresh wind, fresh wind, fresh wind. Feel, feel her cup. Feel it until it overflows flows in the name of Jesus. We declare overflow now in the name of Jesus. Overflow, overflow. We declare more than enough right now in our life right now in Jesus name. Give a peace God which passes understanding so that she will know hallelujah that you are father God who is there with her comforting her and fulfilling every need. Everything she's given where her life has been stirred up, where things have been shaken. We declare now a sudden settling. We declare a sudden settling in overflow, a sudden settling in your presence, God. Begin to overwhelm her and bring order, God, where she's able to see you in the midst in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you. Hallelujah. We're going to give this last word. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah to Sheila, Sheila Myers. We're going to give you You get the last word, hallelujah. And it's amazing that you get the last word because that's what I hear the Spirit of God saying to you. Is It's time to fully stand on my word, says God. It's time to fully stand on my word, hallelujah. God is saying you are waiting for something, something to happen, but God says, what was the last word? Hallelujah, that's what I hear God saying in the spirit. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's a coincidence that you're getting the last word and this is what God is saying, but I hear him saying, what was my last word? Hallelujah. Take me at my word, daughter. Take me at my word. My word has not changed. If your life has changed or situations have changed, it does not mean my word has changed. My word is still eternal and everlasting and it is still powerful to work through any obstacle that that you face any opposition that comes against you my word is still operative and energizing to work through it God says whatever my word was the last word God says it is still powerful to work through chaos it is still powerful to work through the battle it is still powerful to work through anything that contradicts what he has spoken my word is the final authority stand on my word my word will not be shaken though you may feel shaken though you may feel overwhelmed and at times you may feel broken but my word will not break God says my word is your wrath what is the wrath that you need when you feel you are sinking my word is the wholeness you need when you feel you are breaking my word is the security that you need when you feel as if the enemy is coming against you my word is the foundation for which you stand when you feel as if all earth and all hell is breaking out I my word word is everything you need to equip you and make you realize how powerful and and how dominant you are here on this earth. You've got to recognize that my word is speaking to you, daughter. My word is speaking to you. It is showing you who you are. It is showing you what I'm doing. It is giving you open doors and previews into your future. God says, stand on my word, Sheila. Hallelujah. Stand on my word. My word is a final authority in your life. You will, you will not sink. You will not drown. You will not be taken out. You will not be destroyed. No fear here. God says my word. Trust my word. God says, hallelujah. Trust my word. Glory be to God. Trust my word. And so father, in the name of Jesus, we speak over Sheila and declare that she will begin to trust you, God, that she will begin to trust your word, that she will stand on the foundation of your word. Even if opposition arises around her and even if there are battles that are coming against her she will realize that she don't have to fight in the battle. When she stands on your word, the battle will instantly the the battle will instantly flee. The, the enemy will flee and she will have victory over the battle. She will have victory over battles that she don't even have to lift a finger for. Show her Lord God that on your word she has a harvest that she didn't even have to labor for. Glory be to God that she recognizes your word hallelujah and will trust and rely on it regardless of the situation that rises up against her hallelujah glory be to God for your word hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah hallelujah before I leave this morning there was a word that I have for everyone on here as I hear God saying it I gave a, a word this morning about sleeping giants and so if you are just now tuning in go back and listen to the beginning of this prayer call so that you can hear what God has been saying and the prophetic release that God has declared on everybody on this Facebook live anyone who stumbled across it anyone who may oops and open it whatever you do hallelujah go back and listen to the beginning there is a prophetic release that God is that that God is saying this morning about us being sleeping giants and about the small seed being the biggest tree that's what the kingdom of God is and we are the kingdom of God and so what may feel small God said is actually bigger hallelujah know who you are God says I'm prophetically releasing giants in the earth it's time to wake up the giant so you will 
recognize who you are and how big you are. Go back to the beginning of the call so that you can receive that word from God. However, the word that I hear God saying now in this moment for everyone on this call, don't allow the things of this earth to shift who you are. God says, I have called each and every single one of you to greater realm, to a greater realm, God says. We are all seated in heavenly places with Jesus. That means that our mindset should operate from heaven's perspective. That means how we move, how we talk, what we do should come from a perspective of the spirit of God. God says, we are the answer to everything that concerns us on this earth. God says, I've already answered your needs. I've already answered your request. I've already answered your issues. I've already answered your prayers. Uh, you are the answer, hallelujah, to everything that is connected to you. I just need you to recognize who you are. Don't allow this earth to shape you and cause you to lay dormant in, 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 in inadequacy and in insecurity and fear. Don't allow this earth to cause you to lay dormant and feel as if I am not still God and I am not still moving for you. No, I am still the father of heaven and earth. Do not forget, I'm not just a father sitting in heaven forgetting about earth. No, I am the father of heaven and earth. And as you move on this earth, you are my hands and feet. I don't know who this is for, but you have felt like you weren't good enough to do what God has been calling you to do. And you didn't feel equipped or qualified enough. But God says, you are my hands and feet. And I'm calling you to greater realm, excuse me, realms, so that you will understand who you are. It's time to lift your head and walk boldly and confidently on this earth because you are the answer to the pains of this earth. You are the answer to the pains that have been coming from your problems. You are the answer, God says, and I need you to lift and shift, lift and shift. God saying it, lift and shift your perspective. Begin to lift up your perspective so that you can see who you are from the spirit and begin to shift it so that you will begin to operate from the spirit. God said it is time to wake up so that you will know who you are and you can recognize who you are so that you can dominate this earth with your power and the glory that God has on the inside of you. You have dunamis power, God says. God says, I am not giving you the spirit of fear according to 2 Timothy 1 and 7, but I I've given you a power. I've given you power. And the word power there means dunamis. That means that you have the ability. You have the might. You have the jurisdiction. You have the authority. You have the power to move mountains here on earth. You have the power to change situations here on earth. This is scripture. This is not made up. This is not just some hoopla word that I'm just speaking just to encourage you. But this is the word of God. He said, I've given you power power. I've given you authority. I've given you jurisdiction. That means I've given you legal jurisdiction to do what's necessary on this earth to bring it in alignment with my word. I have called you to be greater. So open your mouth and begin to operate from the power that lies on the inside of you. You have authority. You have the ability that is also in the definition of dunamis. So where you feel disqualified and where you feel undervalued and where you feel overlooked. You have the ability. God says, I've given you the ability. That means I've already equipped you to do whatever's necessary to be able to move mountains, to move the attacks, to win the battles, to answer the obstacles, to speak to your problems and declare the promises of God to manifest over them. And you have the ability. So don't ever allow the enemy to make you think that you're not worthy enough or that you're inadequate or inferior or that you don't have enough. Stop allowing your bank account to determine who you are in the spirit. No, enough is enough. I declare you to speak over your bank account and recognize that you are bigger than your money. You are bigger than those relationships. Stop allowing what has happened to you to determine who you are right now. I declare that you are bigger than that broken relationship. You are bigger than that broken heart. You are bigger than that broken business. You are bigger than your experiences. Anything that tries to come contradict who you are in the spirit. Open your mouth and declare that you are bigger. You have power on the inside of you. And I beg of you, hallelujah, today that you will recognize who you are. I pray that over you all now. I pray that you will recognize who you are. I pray right now that you will recognize the power that exists on the inside of you, that you will recognize 
who you are. Hallelujah. It's time to wake up. I declare that no person on this call or anyone that stumbles across this call will lie dormant in their pain, will lie dormant in inadequacy or inferiority. I declare that no one will lie dormant in lack. No one will lie dormant in insufficiency. No one will lie dormant in emptiness. But I declare right now that every person will be revived and recognize the power that is operative in them and begin to declare what they want to see and see it manifest. I declare that they will revive into demonstrations of the spirit and begin to see miracle signs and wonders follow them. I declare that every person who has been dormant or felt dead or detached from God, I declare that they will be awakened and revived right now to stand in their authority. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that there are conquerors, that there are warriors now on this call. And I declare that no enemy in hell or on this earth will shut our mouths again. Glory be to, be to God. Hallelujah. Someone worship God this morning. Hallelujah. Glory. Our mouths will not be shut again. Our mouths will not be shut again. There's no devil in hell or on earth that will mute us. I declare that there is no muzzle that would be put on our mouths. I declare that we will open our mouths and speak. And I declare that we are confident in our souls. We are confident in our bodies. We are confident in what God is calling us to do. I cast down fear. I cast down every plot and plan of the enemy and declare it inoperative and ineffective now in the name of Jesus. We cast down any thoughts that try to uh, come in opposition with what God is declaring. And we bring it under the obedience of Jesus Christ. Everything we do, think, eat, drink, whatever we do, hallelujah, will be in alignment with Jesus. Glory be to God that we are his heirs. We are his heirs. We are his heirs. We are his heirs. Hallelujah. We are his heirs. And we will carry out his promises, not just in our lives, but in this earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Did this bless y'all this morning? It's blessing me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you. Woo! Just to spend time with him. Hallelujah. And the release. The release. Hallelujah. Of his word upon our lives. Oh, Rain on us, oh God. Rain on us, dear Father. Rain on us, oh God. Hallelujah. We receive it now. We receive it now. We receive it now. We receive it now. Every word that you have declared sealed in us, sealed over us, sealed around us is sealed. Oh, Holy Spirit, seal it. And bring it back to our remembrance when situations try to make us forget. Remind us by waking us up. So we'll know and recognize the power that you have placed on the inside of us and who we are. Hallelujah. We will not go back. No, it's only forward from here. It's only up. It's only up from here. It's only up from here. Hallelujah. Glory, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. I love you guys so much. God said, it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time. That's all I keep hearing. It's time, it's time. Now is the time. Now is the time. In the last days of the times when my sons and daughters who are led by the Spirit of God, who go out into the earth, and this earth will see the glory of God reign like never before. It's time, God said, it's time. Hallelujah, now it's time. Now it's time, don't wait. God said, don't wait, now it's time. Don't wait, it's time. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for joining me for 6 a.m. prayer. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody just say hallelujah. I just feel God just holding me. Hallelujah. And I know he's doing that wherever you are in this moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, God. Oh, you are so, so, so good. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you, dad. We worship you, dad. We worship you. 
glory. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I love you guys. Blessings, 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 blessings. Tremendous blessings over to you. <sighs> hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 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 If God is leading you to sow, actually, I just hear the spirit of God saying, so, so you can sow, sow into the bar church or at uh, cash app, the dollar sign, the bar church, excuse me. Somebody can put it in the comments. So you can sow the, to my ministry, which is K McNair ministries, dollar sign, cash app, K McNair, K McNair dollar sign or the bar church dollar sign the bar church can someone put it in the comments i just hear the spirit of god saying sow a seed i'm going to sow a seed into someone on here um i just i i i, I just feel heavy that god is telling me to sow so i'm going to sow a seed and if god is telling you to sow which i believe he is hear the word of god for an amount that he is asking you to sow i never do this on this call you guys always ask me how can i sow but what i hear god saying today is god is leading you all to sow god is leading me to sow god is telling us to sow for the release so not so that we can get the release the release is already here but i hear god saying sowing is a physical is a physical example or a physical relinquishing that's what it is a physical relinquishing of control, of physical relinquishing, almost like we're emptying out so that God can fill us in. Take something that, that is secure to us or important to us and give it over into the kingdom of God so that he can give us what he has released upon us. Hallelujah. It's time to relinquish. And I just feel the spirit of God so heavy telling me to sow. So I'm going to sow. And if God is, is telling you to sow, you can sow either into our church or you could sow into Chrislyn McNair Ministries. Um, but I hear heavy that the spirit of God is saying so. I don't know the amount. I would never give you an amount unless the spirit of God gave me an amount. This is between you and God and what God is putting on your heart right now to sow. Just take it because what I see myself doing in the spirit is taking something that is important to you. You and, and and giving it over into the kingdom and saying, God, I believe in the word that you have called forth today. I believe in the word that you have spoken over my life. I believe in this word. God, this is my seed. I believe it. I believe it because money is something that is secure to all of us. And it's something that we deem as important and usually the number one thing that we hold self selfishly to us. And so I just hear God saying it's time to relinquish. It's time to give him what has been important to us so that he can fully give us the things that he has in store. Hallelujah. So, so as God is leading you to sow, glory be to God. You can sow into our church or you can sow into my personal cash app, which I always take those seeds and put them over into our church. You guys know that we are not people who consistently ask for tithes and offering or anything like that. But when I hear the spirit of God unction me to say something, I am going to speak on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And what I hear God saying is the seeds that you are sowing. Hallelujah. Our seeds for seeds not for a great harvest but seeds for a greater harvest is what i hear god saying that i'm for your obedience i'm giving you greater double god said double i just hear god saying double hallelujah double 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 god said it's a double release that is coming double is coming that's what i hear the spirit of god saying hallelujah i just hear him saying that and i am Listen, it's probably some people on here who are probably laughing at me because I am not one to, to, to give words according to seeds. I've always shied away from that because I grew up in church and that was something that I oh I did not like when people were felt like you were pressured to sow. And so y'all know that's not my character, but I literally genuinely hear this in the spirit. And I'm even nervous saying it. Hallelujah. I'm even nervous saying it, but I see the cash apps coming through. So let's pray over your seed. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, y'all pray. God, build my confidence to speak when it comes to sowing seeds. 
<laughs> Hallelujah, because I be so nervous. Hallelujah, because I don't like to be that one, that preacher to be like, oh, they're talking about seeds again. Hallelujah. But if I hear the spirit of God saying something, I don't want anybody to miss out. So hallelujah. Thank you for your seeds that are coming through. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for every seed that is being sown. God, we thank you for a harvest, a return of those seeds, God, that the word, Lord God, and the obedience attached to those seeds, we thank you that they will see a sudden harvest, sudden increase, sudden restoration, sudden of anything that is attached, Lord God, to the seed or the obedience of the seed that you have for them personally. God, we just thank you for overflow. We thank you that neither one of us will ever go back to that place, that dormant place, that sleeping place, that overlooked place, that undervalued place, that unworthy place. We will not go back to those places, but we will stand in our rightful positions in the kingdom of heaven and be who you have called us to be. Father, we thank you, God, that we recognize that we are giants, that we are bigger than what we have been limiting ourselves to be, and that we will reign and walk in this place eternally. Thank you, God, for a sustaining harvest and everlasting increase. I thank you, Father, for overflow continuously for every person listening now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I love you guys so much. Pray blessings over you all. And I heard people say that um, you guys want me to come on and do Bible study sometimes during the week, which I'm, I'm praying about doing Bible studies about teaching on revival and teaching about speaking in tongues and teaching, you know, just doing practical teachings and, and a little more. But I'll let you guys know as God is leading me to do that. I love you guys so much and declare overflow, overflow, overflow over you all. Listen, inbox me or put it on my wall. Y'all can... Y'all can write on my wall and I will post it about the testimonies that are coming to your house because I believe in my heart and I hear it clearly from God that they're happening suddenly. Suddenly, you're going to start seeing it. So open your eyes. Hear me, y'all. Open your eyes and see them. Don't miss them because you're looking for God in something else. Don't miss them because you are looking God. You're looking for God in something else. Open your eyes and look for what God is doing in your entire life. Don't just look for him to answer that one prayer. Look for God to come through and reflect your entire life and send me those testimonies. All right. I love y'all. Have a good day and, a, and an amazing week. If I come back on, turn your notifications on, turn your notifications on so that you'll know when I come back on because y'all know Facebook changed their algorithms. So turn your notifications on so you'll know when I do Bible studies or sudden prayer calls or things like that. And if you want to send me a prayer request, my husband's going to enjoy this because he told me to say this but if you sent me a friend request and I can't respond to it please like my page Chris Lynn McNair please like my page we're gonna try to grow that page so that I can just be there for all of you guys y'all know I personally inbox and pray for each and one of you all when you reach out but I want more of that and unfortunately it's hard when you do friend requests so please like my Facebook page, excuse me, it's Chris Lynn McNair. I am going to be active on it. I'm not active on it right now. Y'all know I'm not real big on social media, but I'm going to get more active so that I can be there to pray for you guys more and more and be there for anything that you need. I know what God has called me to do, and that is to pastor and to intercede, and I am here for the world. So please like my, my page so that we can stay connected and in contact. And Jamie, we did not talk Please, please, let's make time to talk today. Let me know your schedule so we could talk. She reached out to me and asked if we could talk. Absolutely. If that's what you need, reach out to me. We got you. I got you. I love you guys so much. So, Jamie, um, reach out to me so we could talk sometimes today. All right? I love you guys so much. Bye.